Hello, everyone. I'm CBS 11 Chief Meteorologist Larry Mowry. We've got tennis right now on CBS 11, so there's no 5 or 6 o'clock newscast, although there might be a 6 o'clock newscast if, if tennis ends in time. But I wanted to give you an update here on our cold front. It's almost here, just hours away. The front will bring us some much cooler temperatures as we head into the weekend. But as of the uh, 4 o'clock hour, look at these temperatures, well above 100 degrees. 103 in Dallas, 102 in Fort Worth. This is, again, the 4 o'clock temperature. Look at Wichita Falls, all the way to 108. But just to the north, that's where our cold front is. It's already made its way through Oklahoma City, where temperatures have dropped into the 80s. Look at Amarillo, down to 75 degrees. And that cooler air is just hours away from making it here to Dallas and Fort Worth. So our high today so far at DFW, 104. That's a new record high for this date. 102 is the previous record. Our high tomorrow, only 86 degrees. And here's how it looks on our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. This is at 6 o'clock clock this evening. Temperatures still in the triple digits. If you're heading to some of the high school football games, there's a small chance we could see a pop-up shower or thunderstorm this evening. Chances are pretty low though as coverage will be less than 20%. At 9 o'clock, we're still in the mid-90s, but after 9 o'clock, that's when the front arrives and temperatures will drop quickly into the low 80s by 11 o'clock this evening and winds will pick up out of the north behind the front with winds gusting upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour behind the front and then tomorrow morning will wake up with temperatures in the upper 60s with a good north wind blowing it'll feel nice and comfortable for us tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon winds will let up a little bit lots of sunshine and high temperatures tomorrow in the mid to upper 80s just gorgeous weather for us for the upcoming weekend of course if uh, the six o'clock news starts in time i hope you'll join us then if not i'll have the latest forecast and that front coming through at 10 o'clock tonight on cbs 11 news